Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel Pure Patterns. Uh, today we are going to analyze the chart of Nifty and see uh, where is it heading for tomorrow's expiry. Uh, that is 18th of uh, August uh, 2022. Uh, in my analysis uh, video yesterday, I clearly said that if we are able to trade above uh, Friday's uh, high, uh, Friday's high, then uh, we we if we break out of this, uh, then we are heading towards uh, 17,920. Uh, plus or minus uh, 20 points I have said so we have closed somewhere around 17,930 approximately uh, 29.05 right so uh, we were able to achieve uh, that target so uh, that was my uh, analysis yesterday so what you can see is uh, the uh, market though opened if you can see the five minute chart I have also posted how I have taken the trade in one of the short videos uh, I'll be giving uh, the link in this I button make sure you click on that what was my trade setup for uh, the analysis which I have gave in the yesterday's video so you can clearly see that uh, these are the pure points I clearly said uh, uh, how uh, what was my uh, entry setup market uh, just opened about uh, previous day you know uh, high and it came to this high previous day high then uh, there was a complete uh, can clearly see this complete red candle was taken out uh, within five minutes so and also r1 was taken out right so i was just waiting the uh, i would have taken the trade here but the problem was uh, you know uh, the risk reward was not in favor because only for this reward uh, the risk would be somewhere this much uh, let me draw it very clearly i would have taken you know after the breakout of this opening range itself but uh, the reward was only this much uh, the risk logical stop was was somewhere this much so rr was not in favor right so that was the reason i was not able to take that but however i was waiting for the right opportunity to enter in the trade so what happened is i was uh, clearly uh looking out for this uh, break of r2 with a uh, very good bullish candle so this i got it so the moment it retraced you know you, you can also see that in the short uh, i have given how what was the uh, logic behind that uh, in this i button uh, make sure you read uh, uh, you go through that uh, video and understand though it is uh, dialogue oriented uh, i've just written how it have I've taken the trade so for now, uh, just to for the new user, what was the trade? I'll tell. Uh, so there was a neutral candle. Uh, I usually uh, see for this kind of candles. There was a neutral candle, and I was uh, sure that you know there was a breakout of uh, R2. So I was uh, waiting for the retracement. Uh, even uh, this was a small scalping uh, trade which I have taken with this SL. I, I just entered here, and uh, my target was uh, 17920 which i have uh, yesterday discussed so that was my target uh, so i was able to get that somewhere here right so i was able to achieve that target uh, 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 trading this uh, opening range so if you if you go back to 15 minutes chat let me put that 15 minutes chat as well you can clearly see that you know uh, uh, this is one of the finest setups if you are ever trading you know whenever you are trading the opening range you have this higher wicks lower sorry uh, whenever you see this uh, on the 15 minutes with the lo lower wicks right lower wick formation and uh, with a green body and next candle taking out that's a high uh, probability trade setup so uh, that was my uh, whole uh, logic when i tried so i, I got one of the setups uh, in my favor so I was trading that uh, with this breakout. So this was the uh, trade, uh, trading setup uh, for the today's. But let's uh, go and see what is on store. As as I clearly mentioned yesterday as well. So this is the red zone. This is a supply zone. If you, you can clearly see, this is a supply zone which has been marked. Uh, I would definitely not initiate any uh, any longs uh, in this red zone. So out beyond that, definitely I would be uh, looking out for the opportunities 
so that it can reach for this target only after breaking this zone uh, i might look for small buy opportunities uh, definitely uh, no uh, no going long in this uh, tomorrow being expiry uh, and the uh, chances uh, if if something goes uh, the you know the price goes sideways the chances that option premium might crash so uh, so probably you should be only looking or concentrating on the high probable uh, momentum setups uh, tomorrow being expiry so that's the reason uh, i would not definitely uh, trade a uh, long year uh, the price might uh, consol the price might consolidate here uh, so if in case if it is opening but looking at uh, dow jones and uh, sjx nifty uh, we might open uh, a gap down or a flat uh, so probably uh, in that case um, so what would be our uh setup now let's uh, check that in a 15 minutes uh, uh, time frame so clearly you can see that market uh, has uh, this uh, range formation which has been formed here right so this range formation has to be uh, taken out uh, first of all uh, you know if if we are coming down to this level that is 17840 uh you can clearly say that uh, this is a important zone now so probably uh, nifty might come here and test uh, so if you find any buy setup here uh, at uh, 17 8 840 uh, maybe a neutral candle uh, followed up by a very bullish candle right so you can you can enter uh, by sl and uh, entry with a risk reward of uh, 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 1.5 minimum so you can enter the trade uh, uh, only uh, this would be our buy zone first buy zone provided you have a neutral candle followed up by any any bullish setup uh, whichever pattern you are trading so this uh, definitely this zone i would not be trading uh, 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 there's no trading beyond that so if we, if at all we are uh, able to break this uh, then this would be our next uh, buy area uh, that is uh, uh, let me let me put this cursor and uh, test what is that 17715 okay 17000 uh, 720 would be our next buying zone so probably there are no signs to short it though it is at the supply but uh, i don't see Uh, anything uh, which can be supplied though i see a divergence in the price as well as in the rsi uh, also there is a rejection candle but uh, if somebody is very aggressive uh, can take short but it would be a very risky bet unless we open somewhere here and then we can uh, short it if we open outside this zone then there is no point of shorting this market so we have to wait for the buying setup or any any formation like double tops in 15 minutes chart and then if there are any opportunities that to close to this zone then we can short it else there is no shorting opportunity uh, tomorrow might be something if it is falling to our uh, price band that is uh, 17000 840 would be our first uh, buying opportunity if we are not able to find any buying setup there then our uh, uh, next setup would be uh, 17 720 if the price is reaching there uh, you can you can short uh, if we are you know if you get any uh, bearish setup here uh, for the target of uh, if we are able to break this low uh, for the target of 17000 uh 720 if we are able to break this uh i think that's pretty much how nifty might work tomorrow uh, i'll if if the price is not coming to my price desired levels i would not be trading if i am finding any setup uh, which uh, near my price zone or near my zones then i would be initiating the trade if it is not coming then i would definitely sit out and watch the market tomorrow being expiry it would mostly favor sellers uh, fis being a net buyers 
right i can also see uh, if you if you if you see the option chain as well uh, you know uh, can clearly see that if, uh, let me complete that if fis being net buyers i i probably think market uh, this limited downfall every fall would be bought unless ff fis uh, change their stance right so uh, you can clearly see that uh, 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 there's a more uh, aggressive uh, you know 1.22 uh, uh, lakhs of uh, contracts being added at uh, 17.9k 17900 put options so probably uh, you know in the if we are opening gap up so probably these people might get trapped so they can be you know uh, people might liquidate their puts so in that process we might uh, also see you know and there's a huge oi at uh, 17800 so probably uh, that our our levels also is around 17020 so if uh, you can see some potential uh, you know oi being added uh, then probably 17800 might hold and then we can go uh, long uh, above 17020 uh, with a stop loss so maybe, maybe days low or any any pure point you can apply and uh, you can you can take that trade uh, currently what i see is uh, on the tops uh, on the top 18k uh, might be our uh, uh, the level on the top side so you can also clearly see that you know uh, the oi being 1.6k uh, si sorry 6 lakhs close to 1.6 lakhs been added on the call side uh, accumulated on the call sides on the top side what i can see is 18000 uh, would be our uh, cap on the upside for this expiry unless we break out of that zone and uh, there's a uh, uh, you know liquidation of the call uh, short covering at the call side but uh, looking at the oi um, and also looking at the uh, otm strikes as well you know if you add uh, 60 plus yeah 120 so so probably uh, yeah 1830 18030 on the downside and on the downs uh, sorry 18020 uh, on the upside and probably uh, 18000 or uh, 17008 uh, 17,780 on the downside uh, can be our range uh, looking at the OI uh, but it all depends upon how the price action is being formed on the uh, expiry so we'll majorly focus but uh, these are the levels which one should concentrate well that being said uh, time to log off uh, I'd be winding of this video uh, till we meet in the next video with another interesting analysis uh, uh, I, I wish you a happy trading see you bye bye in case you are new to the channel make sure you are subscribing to this channel if you are liking the content make sure you hit the like button and also uh, hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications on the video which i post on this channel